Hi guys, I hope you are all doing well. Let's see today's question. So today's question, we are taking this up from the topic of differential equations. And if I talk about the question which is given to us here from this topic, the question tells us that temperature T of a body at time T equals to zero is 160 degrees Fahrenheit. And it decreases continuously as per the differential equation that is given to us, which is uh, dt by dt is equals to minus k t minus a t, where it's telling us k is a positive constant. And further, if I talk about the question, it says t of 15 means at time t equals to 15, the temperature is 120 degrees Fahrenheit. So if I see this condition, it says at time equals 15, the temperature is 120 degrees Fahrenheit. The question is asking us to figure out T of 45. So let's see how to solve this question further. And if I talk about the answer choices that we have been given here, the options are 90 degrees Fahrenheit, 85 degrees Fahrenheit, the third answer choice, 80 degrees Fahrenheit. And the last answer choice we have been given here is 95 degrees Fahrenheit. So we need to figure out which one of the answer choice is the correct answer for the question that is given to us here. Let's try to solve this question further. So if I have my differential equation, which says dt by dt is equals to minus k t minus 80. So in this case, if I want to solve this differential equation further, what I can do here is I can take t minus 80 in the denominator and this dt which is of time I can take it on the other side so separating the variables as we do in the differential equations and then taking integrals on both the sides so if I take the integrals it says at time t equals to 0 so at time t equals to 0 the temperature is 160 degree Fahrenheit so that basically becomes your lower limit and the upper limit we can put at any time t because we want to find at different times. So at time t, the temperature would be, let's say, capital T. So if I integrate this idea now, to integrate this, 1 over x, the integral of that is nothing but natural log of x. So it becomes natural log of t minus 80 in the mod. The limits go from 160 degree Fahrenheit to temperature t. And minus k, integral of dt, which is t, the limits go from 0 to t. So if I further solve this, I get natural log of t minus 80 minus natural log of 160 minus 80, which is 80, is equal to minus kt. Now, once I have this, let's try to solve this further. So I have natural log of a minus natural log of v, which is basically natural log of a over b. That becomes t minus 80 divided by t, which is equal to minus kt. Now, once I have that with me, let's try to solve this further. T minus 80 divided by 80, I get this is natural log. If I take it on the other side, becomes exponential of minus kt. So, T minus 80 becomes 80 into e raised to minus kt. Now, once I have that, T becomes 80 plus 80 into e raised to minus kt. So, I have this temperature. Now, at time t, let's find the other ideas and they have given one condition. Let's see that first. So it says, yeah, it says at time t equals 15 seconds, the temperature is 120 degrees Fahrenheit. So if I put time t equals to 15 and temperature as 120 degrees, I'll get the constants value that is k. Let's see. So I have 120 is equals to 80 plus 80 e raised to minus k into t is 15 seconds. So it's basically minus 15 k. So from here, if I try to solve this 120 minus 80 is 40 divided by 80, which is e raised to minus 15k. So from here, I get e raised to minus 15k is equals to half. So I get the value for e raised to minus 15k as half. Let's try to solve this expression further and find the answer for the question that is asked to us. 
So it's asking at time t equals to 45, how much is the temperature? So if I do that at time t equals 45, we have been asked to find the temperature here. So let's put that again in this expression. So at time t equals to 45, we have been asked to find the temperature. So if I use the same idea, I get t equals to 80 plus 80 e raised to minus k into time t is 45. So 45 k 80 plus 80 e raised to minus 45. I can write minus 15 k into 3, which is basically cubed. So I get from here 80 plus 80. This becomes minus 50 e raised to minus 15 k. We already know it is half. So half cubed. So 80 plus 80, 1 over 8, 8 ones, 8 tenths. So you get 80 plus 10, which is 90. So you get temperature as 90 degrees Fahrenheit. And if I talk about the answer choices that we have here, the options given to us are A, B, C, D, out of which A matches with the answer. That is the temperature is 90 degrees Fahrenheit at time T equals to 45 seconds. I hope you have understood how to solve this type of questions. So your correct answer in this question becomes option E. I'll see you again tomorrow with some other question from some other topic. And we are going to continue our series of questions on JWE mains. So stay tuned for more videos to roll out. Also, if you're enjoying these videos that we are doing on everyday basis, please do like the videos as well and do subscribe to my channel. And share this channel with your friends also who are involved in the preparation of questions on JWE. So they can also take the benefit from these questions which we are solving on everyday basis. Thank you.